Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. My favorite part of the job is we've located somebody, maybe a victim's car, they've reported their car stolen. We locate the suspect and we get into the high chase and we catch him. And it all ends like the good movie where the bad guy goes to jail. The victims and everybody else are safe at home. It's the best part of the job. A gentleman called. He got into an argument with his girlfriend. Apparently, his girlfriend beat him up. He's refused rescue, but he wants the police to come. And she's still at the apartment. And they're supposedly still arguing. We're going to go over here and see what they're arguing about and what else is going on with her and him. Where is she? She's still here. Is your girlfriend here? Yeah. What happened? OK, I just come home, back home, before. And inside i want i use the bedroom from the bedroom i come i show i see like like this i saw in the sleeping room she like sleeps with the baby i said okay i come back you know to the living room i smoke cigarette i sitting on the table she come back she walked to the kitchen from the kitchen she come back she cut off the the light not the light no the, the fan the fan yes she cut off i says what you cut off that you know she says to me if you cut on again i gonna cut off let's get to the point where okay you need what's us. going next she tried to push me okay she tried to hit me see this here uh -huh. that's from her i think here too okay she pushed me right there, here, too. I says, just go ahead. Okay. Do what you want to do. OK. You calm know? down, calm down. I, listen, I listen to me. Out. Let me ask you a couple okay. questions, OK? OK, OK. Is she your wife? Are you married to her? Uh, no, girlfriend. We Just have girlfriend? A, yeah, we you, have you a have baby. A, the, the, yeah. You have a mutual child? The child belongs to both of you? Yeah. Okay. See, still, I be not going to check the bloods. I says, that's my baby. OK. OK, I take care of her. How long have I you guys been living here together? About three years. Why don't you just wait down here, and we're going to go talk to her, OK? Mm-hmm. Did you ask me if she had any weapons because of no, the last statement? Me. Sir, does she have any weapons? No. OK. She is by herself and the baby in there. Oh, you got to use that. Probably running out the back door. No, she's coming to the door. Hey. Hello. Hey. Come in. Yeah. Oh, American flag. How are you tonight? So, so, so. What's going on? You and your boyfriend. And he's too much drinking. Before, maybe 20, 30 days, I don't know. We have a black people fight, too much fight, I have pictures. He coming, I have a soup and everything. Last night, too much drunk, drunk, too much talk to me. And coming, maybe, I don't know where he's going. I'm not talk to him. Where he going? And maybe bar, I don't know. He coming, sit down and music and that's his name, Sammy. And Sammy, oh, please touch me. I'm looking at, excuse me, I have a baby for you. I have it, this, out. What, out. So you just grabbed it and tried I to put him out? I push it, close door, there's beer, everything key. Does he live here? No. Yeah. This is his home? It's my apartment. And you're his girlfriend? Yeah. OK. It's my boyfriend. And that's his baby and, and your baby? And baby, yeah. OK, I understand. Ma'am, unfortunately, tonight, you're under arrest. 
Okay? So I need you to turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. Okay? Okay. Do you understand? Right now you're under arrest because you've put your hands on your boyfriend. No. He lied. You told us you Relax put your me, hands okay? on Do you want him to watch the baby or do you want your mom to watch the baby? You have the choice. He lied, lied, lied. I don't know why I lied. I'm not like it. The Bosnian people. <laughs> Ma'am, right now, your sister's going to jail, okay? Oh, she's... she's going to jail. Um, she wants you to take care of the baby for the <laughs> evening. Okay. Yeah. She needs to show her where the food is to take for the baby. That's fine. You got a pair of shoes for her? They're outside. Okay. We just need the baby I'll, food. I'll, I'll find it. I have the shoes right here. I'll just take okay. the baby first to my mom, then I'll come back. Can I Are you going to be okay with him? Because he'll be here. Yeah, I'm okay with him. No problem okay. with him. Okay. Okay. I'm going to explain to him what's going on. Okay, sir. Right now, your girlfriend's going to jail. Okay, for the fight that y'all had earlier. Can I go to jail? We can't put you in jail instead of her because that's the way you want it. You've called the police here, so we have to do what the law says. Yeah, She's, I called the police. We can't put you in jail just because you want to go to jail and you don't want her to go, okay? What I can do is, is your, the sister is going to take the baby over to her mom's and then come back and get baby food for yes. the baby, okay? Yes. When she, she should get out of jail sometime tomorrow, maybe the next day. Okay? And then you guys are going to have to take it from there. Okay. But tonight, she's going to go to jail. Once we gathered all the information, we decided to, that she was the aggressor in the situation. We had to put her in jail because she had put her hands around his neck and tried to shove him out, even though in the past he might have been the start of the problems and the argument. Tonight, she did the violence. This job tends to be ever-changing. Every day you come to work, you never know what's going to happen. This job is one of the funnest things I've ever done. And we play cops and robbers growing up as kids. And some of us are fortunate enough to do cops and robbers as adults. Couldn't ask for a better job. Well, I just saw a car drive up into the canyon, into the hills here. And uh, this is off-road. It's an off-road trail, and no one's supposed to be up here, so I'm going to try and catch up to it and uh, find out what it's doing. <laughs> These roads are are off off-road, off-limits to most of the patrol people, but to the criminal element, they think they can use these roads to get away from us by coming up here and joyriding their stolen cars or doing their dope or just hiding out from us. Three Edward 10. We have a Rubido unit 10-8. I need some assistance on a vehicle that just left. Heading over the hills towards 20th and Sierra. Yeah, firm. It was coming off the canyon and uh, saw me turn around and is making its way over to the other side now. Copy that. 10, it's going to be a blue Chevy truck. Two three nine five five. And confirm towards twenty eighth and Sierra. Yeah, for a moment on the front of the road it stopped in front of me. Let me see your hands. Stay there, all right? Put your hands up. Open the door. Trainer 12. Yeah. Yeah, come I on thought out. you were four by. Come on out. I'm serious. Come on out. Wait, you put on the boots. No, leave your boots off. Dude, don't do this, all right? All right, all right. You on probation? No, I'm not. Parole? No, I'm not. Why'd you turn around? Because I couldn't get back out that way. Yeah, you could. You I saw my not. car. Come on out. No, I didn't. I saw you. Got anything on you? No, I don't. Spread your legs. 
Spread your legs. This is your car? Yeah, it's in my car. You nervous? Yeah. You on probation? No. Parole? No. Ever been arrested before? Yeah. For what? Manslaughter. Then I copy on code four. I have the car stopped on the uh, Edison frontage road. What is that noise? It's my dinosaur, my daughter's dinosaur. I had a pipe. Yeah, you did. Where's your dope at? That's all I have. You're high right now. I can smell your breath. Sit down. Have a seat right here. Sit down. Right there. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Anything illegal in your car? Oh, in front of that pipe. All right. Well, we did a vehicle stop down at the end of the at the end of the dirt road here, and while I'm on that vehicle stop, this car pulls out, sees my lights, turns around, and starts to go the other way, knowing that several cars are stolen and joyridden in this in this hilly area. We uh, made our way and caught this guy, pulled him out of the car, and he's sitting on a glass pipe, which is indicative of <laughs> smoking narcotics. I'm looking for the contents of the pipe, if they're in a, a baggy form or uh, something else. It seems like I've come across a little more than I anticipated. This guy has woman's underwear and all kinds of icky stuff. What's the matter, man? You okay? What are you scared of? Why? I don't want to be there. What's, what's in your car that would make you go back to jail? That bike. And what else? That's it. Why do you have the underwear? I, it's from all the girlfriends that I've had. And, really? And then I'm, I'm gay. Okay. Well, just don't, don't, don't cry over that. Be proud of that. What's up, man? What are you doing out here? Hey, you know what? His ID's right here on the, on the, the bed. Could you run him for me, please? Look at me, your pants unzip, man. You been busy? Something like that. Something like that? Here we go. It's just a little bag of speed. But that's what he was doing up here. This goes with that. And that's why he's upset. And that's why he doesn't want to go back to jail. Marco. Yeah. You got anything to say? <laughs> Were you pulling my leg with what you told me earlier? Or is that the truth? That's the truth. OK. All right. Um, you know this stuff's bad for you. I know that, bad. How long have you been using? <laughs> Almost a year. Just one year? And you're from Fontana. You're up in these hills. You saw my lights. Yeah? You got scared, turned around and ran away. All right. Well, you're under arrest. And you go to jail in Riverside, okay? You want to talk to me about this? Yes? What is this? Meth. Meth? Did you break the pipe on purpose or an accident? On accident. I bet you were pretty upset when you broke it, huh? No. no? How long ago did you use? Like maybe two hours ago. Just two hours ago? Didn't think you'd get caught when you used it, did you? Most people I don't. I would get caught. You did? I knew I was going to get caught. Why don't you stay home? I've been fighting with my wife. Oh, uh, does she know you use speed? Yeah. Is that why you're fighting with her? Yeah. Oh. What's the status of my man here? Um, he's not wanted, but he is DL is suspended. Okay. FTA. They didn't know okay. why. Out of San Bernardino. All right. Um, would you give me a hand in taking him down to the street? Absolutely. And we're going to book him in for the narcotics. Right on. The uh, woman's panties, he says he's of an alternative lifestyle and you know that's his preference but the uh, the paraphernalia is indicative of narcotics users. Marco, dude next time you decide to do dope, you'll think twice, won't you? Yeah. Well, hopefully you learned your lesson. Have you? Yeah. I hope so. I hope so man. While you're inside you need to get some counseling and try and get into a, a drug rehab program. Clear yourself of this problem, right? Yeah. Take it easy brother. Okay, we'll still send a code three.